Hey, what are you doing? I thought you were going back to work. Oh, yeah, I was, but I changed my mind. Yeah, apartment hunting? Um, actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, that sounds uh, serious. Yeah, it is. Sure. <clears throat> what would you like to talk about? What's going on, Maxie? Uh, well, that's what I was gonna ask you. Um, I wanted to talk to you about these. Where'd you find that? Well, I found it in the pocket of your robe. Okay, the, the, the robe that I specifically told you not to wear? Well, yeah, but I just got in on the shower and I realized- Damn it, Maxie, I, you, you are staying in my house. Because you had nowhere else to go. I appreciate that, Patrick, but this is completely... But, but, but what, Maxie? Now you're going through my stuff? No, I would never do I don't that. need you spying on me, Maxie. Patrick, I'm not spying on you. I wouldn't. Right, so, so what do you call ransacking the pockets of my clothes? An emergency? I mean, okay, not a real emergency, but I just got out of the shower and I realized that my clothes were in the car and... Well, I didn't think your neighbors would appreciate me running around in the front yard. So then you put the robe back on that I told you not to touch, and then you just happened to put your hand in the pocket? Yeah, that's when I found this bottle. Okay. Maxie, do you have any idea how many people are prescribed medication? Yeah, tons. I know. Right. And I wouldn't even thought twice about it, except for... Except for what? I remembered how angry you got when you couldn't find your robe. Because Robin wore that robe. I know, but I was also wondering if maybe, well, if you were also upset because you thought I might find these pills. So you, so you think I'm hiding medication in the pocket of my robe? Well, I don't know what to think, but I'm worried about you. And, and Lulu said that the only way to uh, figure wait, it out wait was Wait a second, to ask... Lulu? Max, did you talk to Lulu about this? It wasn't like I was gossiping, I just... No, well, it sure as hell sounds like it to me. Lulu had just come by a little while ago, and I had just found the pills, but... And she told me the only way to find out was to ask you, so this is me asking. Those pills are none of your business. Okay. Look, maybe I'm a little oversensitive about the subject because I'll forever be known as the girl who supplied Lucky with drugs just so he would sleep with me. I mean, I ignored all the alarms that were going off in my mind, and, and I pretended to believe him, and like, I just don't want to make that mistake again. Okay, well, I think you're right. I, I, think, I think you're being a little oversensitive. Okay. Well, look, even if you don't blame me for what happened with Lucky, and trust me, you would definitely be one of the few, I, I mean, you have to admit that I was enabling him. You're not enabling me. Yeah, well, I would be. If I knew you were in trouble and I didn't do anything about it, so are you in trouble? You're under an incredible right. amount of stress and no one would blame you if uh, you needed some help. Well, you don't have to worry. Well, too late, I'm worried. Maxie, th those pills are acetaminophen, okay? It's, it's for people when they have a headache, like an aspirin. So why isn't the bottle labeled? Because I had a headache at work. My head was pounding me. I asked the nurse to grab me some pills out of the drug lockup. But you know, you're probably right because now I owe the hospital a couple dollars. <laughs> With the hours you work? Please. Look, sorry you weren't feeling well. I'm sorry I didn't help. It's okay. We've both been going through a lot, so I, I can understand how you, you might have jumped to a conclusion. Yeah. Well, I'm really sorry, okay? Not to mention completely mortified. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about me, Maxie. I'm fine. Really. All right, well, <clears throat> if you don't mind, in case I have another one of those days. Oh, right, here. Now I have to go change because I have to pick up Emma from day camp and maybe today she won't be the last one waiting.